What is up everyone, PWG here and today I'm going to show you guys three different rainbow variations just to put some color to this otherwise pretty dull day. Oh, thank you Jay, thank you Jay. So, let's get started. If you don't know what a rainbow is, it's basically using both your feet, flicking the ball over your head and your opponent's head. Now, there are many theories about the origins of the rainbow. Some say it's from Chile, David Ariano in the 1920s. Some say it's Dragoslav Sekularac from the 1950s. But the first player to ever do it in a game was Brazilian Japanese player Kaneko, who did it in the game 1968. And since then, a lot of players have used it all over the world in games, but most notably Ilhan Mansis in the World Cup of 2002. And now it's made popular by JJ Okocha, Jalminya, and Neymar. First up, we got the Advanced Rainbow. Many famous players have done this during trainings and it was made famous by FIFA. It's quite difficult to do in a game situation, but here's how you do it. Do the run-up sideways and do a Ronaldinho flick while running. And if you don't know how to do a Ronaldinho flick, you can click the link right here to learn how to do it. And as the ball goes up, heal the ball with your other foot over you and your opponent. Number two, the double rainbow. This is basically just a rainbow with another heel added into the mix and it goes like this. Start the same way, you would start a regular rainbow flick, but instead of flicking it over your head, flick it about hip height so you have enough time to heal it with your other leg over you and your opponent. Number three, the drag back rainbow. This move might be difficult to do while running, but you can definitely do it while standing still. And this is how you do it. Start by rolling the ball back, flick it up with your toe and heel it over your head with your opposite foot. Now the tricky part is the flick up. So when you roll the ball back and your toe is underneath the ball, you want to straighten out your leg and move your heel upwards. And now you got enough time to heel it over your head with your opposite foot. So before you start rushing onto the pitch, there are a few tips and tricks that you should know. Firstly, start training with non-moving objects like a bin or something because you want to get your technique right and you want to get the pace right. Secondly, you want to lean towards your opponent or towards the direction that you want the ball to go to so that the ball goes in that direction and not just up. And lastly, you need to find the right pace because you know you can't do any of these three variations at full speed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what you guys want me to teach you next time. If you liked what me and J-Mike are wearing on our feet, you can get the Adidas Initiator Pack by clicking the link right over here. And if you want to learn the Barabatov slash Ronaldinho touch, J-Mike knows exactly how to do it. You can click the link right here. And if you want to learn some more skills on the pitch, off the pitch, you can click the playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications on. And I will see you guys next time.